took me a long time to really appreciate my mother as much as I should. But I think about my mother going as a very young girl, she was still in her late teens, going to Bogalusa. She was one of seven, six or seven children. She was the, she was the, the favorite of the family. She was spoiled rotten by her parents. To go to a rough town like Bogalusa, uh, where there was very little luxury, and do what she did, uh, raise her family. Our house, she worked in the store a lot. She ran the women's department, did the buying and so forth. Our house was immaculate. She would have a fit if she could see my house now. <laughs> the, uh, the house was well run, the food was wonderful. She saw that Bertie and I had everything you could want. We had dancing lessons and piano lessons and elocution lessons, all to no avail, I'm afraid, I have to say. Uh, she looked after, my mother and father looked after everybody in the family. In the early days, when I was a very young child, the store stayed open on, uh, I think the store stayed open until 8 o'clock during the week and 11 o'clock on Saturday night. And many Saturday nights, my mother and father would get into the car and go down to the Shepman, around the Shepman tour of, of your, near Lake Pontchartrain. So go f crabbing and fishing, bring the stuff home and boil those crabs when they, when they got home in the morning. They were, but she, she was, she was, they were both remarkable people. But I think so many of the people who ended up in small towns and did what they did, when you think of the, what those people achieved overnight, because I was, I was still a young child when, I was a young child when I went away to college. But it, when I think of what they had achieved in, in my even younger years, you know, even before I hit my teenage, I just can't believe it. It was just kind of amazing. And you just replicate that all, all through the South. It's, a, it's an amazing story.